This first poem is called Labeling Keys. Though not a secretive man, my father understood combination locks and keys. Oh yeah, he was a Yale man. <laughs> and he had a love affair with brass. And he had a key rack as organized as the writing on the label of each key was neat. It's the same angel that made him label and date butcher paper wrapped leftovers in the refrigerator with Christmas present creases and hospital corners and little two by two post-it notes with possible suggestions for the leftovers use. <laughs> Turkey scraps, November 23, yummy treat for the D-O-G secured with count em. One, two rubber bands, one for snugness, the other just for, you know, symmetry. <laughs> but there's an art to labeling keys. The one you keep to your neighbor's house cannot say on it, neighbor's house across the street, in Maine for all of May. Similarly, gun rack, burglar alarm, spare set of keys to sob in garage. These are labels you will not see at our house. Instead, my father wrote in his own Argo, in a cryptographic language of oblique <laughs> reference, the key to the burglar alarm he called the siren's song. <laughs> the gun rack, that infernal racket. The neighbor's house across the street was called the farm in Kansas. <laughs> Victor was the Volvo, Henry was the Honda, Gabriella the Sabatini. <laughs> a security of the mind, no doubt, and not so much precluding burglary as offering a challenge to the industrious burglar, as well as evincing from my brother and me much in the way of loving parody, such as the key to the side door, which we labeled, not the key to the side door. <laughs> Destitute neighbors hovel, far, far away from here, nothing to steal. Boathouse in Djibouti. <laughs> but among the neatly labeled keys, some to cars we no longer possessed, such as Potemkin and Gerald the Ford. <laughs> there was a brass ring called Keys to Unknown Places. Little metal orphans, they had all lost their locks, or rather their locks had all lost them, misplaced them all on the same ring, which is a sadness that no bolt cutter can cure. Even the key that says simply, Hartford. Hartford. Somewhere there's a door, a box, a closet full of secrets locked, and the only thing I know about it, knowing my father, is that it's probably not in Hartford. <laughs> but I keep them all jingling and jangling, turning the tumblers of the past. Who knows when I may not be in Hartford again and have such a need for such a key. And who here knows nothing of the magic that escapes every time a key that should unlock a door does. Bravo.